In a world where AI and chat GPT is used every single day, prompt engineering is a very important skill that everyone should understand. And in the next five minutes, I will explain everything that you need to know. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and GPT-5 was launched recently and with it came a very special prompting guide by OpenAI. And they suggested something very interesting. GPT-5 is different in the sense that it will now only understand very structured, explicit prompts to give you the best outcomes and results. What that means is you need to very explicitly mention what you want, how you want and what do you want the output to look like. So OpenAI shared a very interesting seven step prompt that you should master if you want the best out of GPT-5. And let me lay it down for you. It starts with the role. It is the persona or the expertise that you want GPT-5 to embody. For example, you can say that you're a travel expert. It's all about laying down exactly where do you want GPT-5 to have its expertise. The second step is the task where you actually lay down what you want GPT-5 to do. And you have to be very explicit in exactly how you want it to do it. Third one is the context. This is where you provide relevant background information, documents and other information that will help GPT-5 to give you a better, more contextual output. So you could be sharing why you need this task, who do you need it for, and any particular information that you want GPT-5 to remember. This is super important, otherwise GPT-5 will always be giving you some bland output that you will always be bored by and people will very easily be able to tell that this is AI generated. The fourth step is the reasoning and this is where you lay down how you want GPT-5 to approach this problem. If there is a step-by-step -step logic that you want it to implement, if you have a specific way you want it to solve your query, you can identify and prompt it specifically in this part. Number five is the rules. And this is where you lay down all the non-negotiables, any constraints, any limitations that you wanted to be aware of, you specify it in the rules section. Number six is the stop condition. This is where you specify exactly when you want GPT-5 to stop researching and give you the output in front of you. Maybe after it has come up with five examples, maybe once it has made a long enough list, it can then stop researching about the topic. And the last is the output style. This is where you specify how do you want the output to look like? Do you want it to be in like a table format? Do you want it to be in a markdown format? Do you want it to make an image? Do you want it to make a step-by-step -step guide? Specify what it should look like at the end of the research. So role, task, context, reasoning, rules, stop condition, and the output format. This is the ideal prompt structure if you want the best out of GPT-5. Let me explain with a couple of examples. Let's say you wanted to create a 30-day marketing plan for a new AI startup that you are starting. The basic prompt would be create a 30-day strategy for an AI startup that I'm starting. That will give you the most bland output. Using the new prompt structure, this is what it would look like. Role, you are a senior marketing strategist with 10 plus years of experience in digital campaigns. Task, create a 30-day social media content plan for a new AI startup. Context, the startup offers an AI tool that helps freelancers generate professional contracts quickly. Target audience, freelance and solopreneurs in the US. Budget, $5,000 for the month. Number four, reasoning. Break down the plan into weekly themes, outline specific content ideas, and explain why they work for the target audience. Number five is rules. Avoid using generic motivational quotes. Focus only on practical, conversion-driven ideas. Number six, stop condition. Stop after four weeks of content with daily ideas. And the last is output format. Present the plan as a markdown table with columns for date, theme, post idea, and platform. Just look at the difference in the outputs that you are getting from the basic prompt and from this structured GPT-5 prompt. Another example, let's say you're planning a trip as a couple to Paris. Let's say the basic prompt is to plan a five day itinerary for a couple for Paris. The structured GPT-5 prompt is the follows. Role, you are an expert European travel guide. Task, plan a five day vegetarian friendly trip to Paris for a couple. Context, the couple loves art, history and cozy cafes. They are visiting in June 2025 and want to avoid tourist traps. Reasoning, suggest a balanced itinerary mixing famous landmarks and hidden gems. Recommend restaurants near the attraction for each day. Rule, only include vegetarian food options. No non-veg recommendations. Keep walking distances manageable. Max 30 minutes. Stop condition, end after 5 days of activity. 
output format deliver in a bulleted day by day itinerary with restaurant recommendations in italics and just look at the difference in the output that you get from GPT-5. This is the best way to prompt chat GPT in 2025 and you should start executing on it today. But I know what you're thinking. This is a lot to write Ishan. I don't have the time to write so much. Well, that's exactly why I created promptmaxer.com. It's a free tool that you can use in which you simply sign in with Google. And after you do that, you can start prompting. You can choose what is your goal. Do you want to generate an image, generate a video, or just generate some text? If you click on generate text and you can select the model, you can, let's just say, go with chat GPT and then create your basic prompt. Let's say your basic prompt is explain demand and supply in the most simple terms possible. Now, if you click on optimize the prompt, prompt maxer will turn this basic prompt of yours into a in-depth structured JSON prompt that will look like this without you having to do any of the hard work of writing everything yourself. It's a free tool that I've made. Go try it out, promptmaxer.com and get better with prompt engineering in 2025. That's all from me today. If you have any questions about prompt engineering, let me know below in the comment section and I would love to answer those questions. Similarly, we can also have prompt guides for mid-journey, for VO3. If you're interested, let me know below. I'll make a video in depth for that as well. I'll see you in the next one. Share this with a friend, hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one.